Silk Sonic 959 Breakfast. 652 starting his day on 959. Uh, yes. Singer, songwriter. Yes. Rapper. Rapper. Actor. Actor. Director. Director. Because I know that this is a very significant week for you, right? And I just want to get into another reason that this week uh, means so much to you. But I want to first get into the fact that, you know, we're putting the spotlight on Albinism Month. Is yeah. it something that means much to you at all, being someone with albinism? Um, not really. Right? Not really. I mean, and, look... And, and why? Because a lot of people make a huge fuss about it. I find that interesting that you're like, oh, what ifs? Um, no, because like, um, like living with the with living with the condition, you right? know. There's just a lot that even myself I don't agree with. Even the term albinism, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Um, it means no? al, albino means means white, and then ism goes for the condition. You know what I mean? So for the mere fact that um, we are identified as a condition itself, it just made me like, oh, okay, that's just the label that I'm gonna get. You know what I mean? So and I get that. Yeah, I so, think I absolutely get it. I've never thought of it that way. Yeah. So would you rather it not being like given a name because I mean, or would you prefer a different name, or you just don't like the labeling of the condition? Um, I mean, it's a it's a different shade of black. You know what I mean? Mm. That's yeah. that's just that's just what it is. So, but if if you look at the history of that name, you know. Because I, I, I looked into it, you know, mm-hmm. that there was um, an explorer back in the days that saw, like, white people with black people. And that's yeah. where the name comes from. You know what I mean? Yeah. Highlighting the, 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 the lesser melanin in them. Yes. And the heavier melanin in yes. black people. Yeah, but it means, it also means a lot because, like, more can be done with the, with the awareness. Yeah. You know what I mean? What should we what should we be aware of? I think that's very interesting. If we're saying more can be done about the awareness, what are the things that you would highlight that we need to be aware of? Um, I mean, for example, like upbringing, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cuz the first time like it was, people were not familiar with the with the condition back then, you know what mm-hmm. I mean? So, the first reaction from my community where where I grew up um it was like it's like I don't know what in like like, like um, yeah like oh, or yeah, yeah. you know what I mean oh. so then the mothers get uh, accused of like sleeping with white people and so that just just Jeez. yeah so just that ignorance that trauma you know what I mean just acknowledging that trauma because it's not just about oh yeah I know we are celebrating like uh, mm-hmm. the condition or whatever but there's a lot the trauma we had I, I had to go to like um, a school like full of like blind people and people with the same condition because the primary school um, Sako High mm. they did not understand you know or they didn't have patience no never Sako High because mm. now it, it before we Google, mm. you know what I mean when the information like was out there you mm. know what I mean so playing in the sun my parents realized that when I was just playing and then I went outside and then I came back pink and then they were like, oh, okay. You know what I mean? Can't be For out real. in the sun. Mm. Yeah, you can't be too long in the sun. So they found out, um, you know, practically. And then, you know what I mean? Yes. Sunscreens are very, very, very expensive. Yeah, are very, you know, yeah. yeah. So yeah. They, they should they should be free in my thing. Yeah, well, I mean, I think we all as females also feel like sanitary pads should be free. Yeah. You know, because there's nothing you can do about it. Yeah. It is the way you are born. It, yeah. That's your anatomy. That's your DNA. Yeah. There's just why, why, why must we make it expensive? You have a, a basic human right to look after your skin yeah. because you're born with lesser melanin making you a little bit more sensitive, isn't it? We're yeah. born with menstrual cycles. Mm-hmm. Nothing we can do about it. Nothing. Why monetize? Why yeah. then pay for it? Exactly. Why monetize something that is what we're born with. Yeah, I mean, also like glasses, you know what yeah, I mean? Because yeah. we, we, we don't see very well. Yeah. Um, so having glasses, glasses are expensive. So you can imagine mm. like people that are in the rural areas with this condition, yeah. they can't see well. So I had to sit like in front of the class, you know what I mean? So, because they didn't know, it felt like maybe no, I'm getting a attention or whatever, mm, but mm, I could mm. not, you know what I, I mean? I couldn't see. I, I could not see. So. Mm. The glasses, the sunscreen, 
You know what I mean? So it's a whole combination altogether. Did it play like? Does it play any role in your career? Is it like a, a deterrent, or has it been more of an inspirational? Because at the end of the day, your mm. talent also has nothing to do with anything else but your talent. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, at first, while I was still in drama school, you know what I mean? Because when you look at briefs, like acting briefs, mm. it's 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 black, white, um, and colored. Colored. You know what I mean? Indian. Indian. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. when an actor with this condition steps in the room, you know what I mean? Then there's the politics of the skin. You know sure. what I mean? So that, that is what I was afraid of going in. You know what I mean? So that's why I worked like 10 times because I knew that I have to like fight for this blackness. You know what I mean? This is so wild. You know, we are so ignorant as, as human beings because we never think that deep. And I, I can completely get that. Yeah. I can imagine how hard it is to audition for the role of a black man but in how you're presented based on yeah. how you're born you're not your typical black person yes because of your skin yeah so i was so i was i was you can't even say you're just light in complexion you can't you know what i mean so it just shows you i would not say ignorance yeah. but it just shows us how you know, there's for me, that's why I say it doesn't mean much to me because there's nothing to celebrate. You know what I mean? There's nothing to celebrate. The problem starts with the naming itself, yeah. albinism. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that's all people see. You are just a, a condition. So for me, it's like, let's dismantle all of that. Before we can, there's nothing to celebrate. There are still kids with this condition that are still murdered in yeah. across Africa, used for Muti. True. Even here I was in the about country. To ask, yeah. I was about to ask about the Muti thing. Yeah. Did you feel like represented growing up as a kid, you know, looking at this industry? Because the only person with this condition, you know, who was big an artist for me was not even South African. It's Salif Keita. Yeah. Yeah. I never prior to him saw a South African on our screens. Did you feel any, uh, you know, representation? Is that why me Maybe you went into this scene determined to, you know, inspire the kids or something? Um, for me, the reason why I chose acting, you know what I mean, is because I felt I felt silenced by 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 the community growing up. Mm. You know what I mean? Uh being bullied. Um oh. people always want you to shake your hands because they feel like you're gonna bring some luck. That is so and, and 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 all of that. Jeez. You know what I mean? So for me, it was like a survival thing. I had to find a creative way to let to let my to let my voice out. Yeah, you know what I mean. So acting is more of um, I didn't even want to be famous. You know what I mean. The first time I saw myself at the cinema, mm -hmm. I cried oh, man. Oh, because bro. I'm like wow. I see not even it's it's me, but I see somebody that looks like me Finally, as yeah. a superstar. You know what wow. I mean as somebody that has done it against all odds you know what i mean yeah, yeah. so and also it's a pressure because like you're saying it's one person you know yeah I mean? so one. when other kids just see me on tv they're like where is everybody else mm -hmm. you know what i mean so I, I i have that responsibility to to also when 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 people want to write about the, the the condition you know what i mean mm -hmm. There are certain things I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do. You know what I mean? There are certain stories that people wanted to write about people with this condition, and I'm like, no. You know what I mean? We're not going there. We're not going there. Not to say that like you are black or whatever, but this is my experience. Uh. So you are just looking outside in, and then they always just do the typical thing. Mm -hmm. If you look at people with this condition in movies, it's always bad. Yeah, that's true. They are villains. So when 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 people oh, yeah. look at us, we are just those villains. Sure. I love a conversation that is very sincere with a completely contrast view and brings us into looking at things differently from a different lens. And that's what you've brought starting your day this morning on 959. Truly appreciate that. Top of the hour right now. We are starting our day on 959 with Debato. And uh, he's not going anywhere. Heart, soul, back together. 724, hanging out with uh, Debato. Debato Mashishi, what's your day looking like today? Quick, fast, in a nutshell. Um... Oh, I was supposed to go to therapy. Oh, you go to therapy? Therapy? Yeah. That's dope. That's yeah, dope. I was supposed to go to therapy. Um, I practice my monologues. Um, I watch watch movies or series. I love that. Um, tutorials on, on YouTube, on writing and directing. We're going to therapy 
and I love that you brought that up, right? Black man going to therapy. Yeah. Um, you warmed our hearts. Kaholi bile. Got the movie Matwetwe, and I know a terrible thing happened to your friend and co-actor in that film. Um, he got killed. Spusi, you were there. So, yeah. Spusi, so yes, yes. yes. You were there with him on that faith, fateful day. Yeah. Are these some of the things you highlight as you go through therapy and how you were impacted by that? Are you comfortable to talk about it? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Um, I mean, at first, I didn't want to go to therapy. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, because, yeah, it was very, it was very painful. Like, you, you just don't know what to do. But I, I went there because, like, to kind of, like, save myself because, you know, you kind of, like, blame yourself and you get suicidal and all of those things so like going to therapy was like before like I I do that let me at least like fight yeah yeah therapy. you were with him on that day you got taken away from us brutally I mean what happened that day man um I mean we were invited to to watch a screening with with, with, with some students from from TUT you know mm-hmm. So, as we're about to leave, we we we're Ubering, right? Mm. Um, ah, cool. Uh, well, it, has, it had been a long day, so I was I was tired. I was just waiting for the Uber. So the next thing, somebody grabs the phone, and then Spoo runs, and then after I get there, um, you know, I realized that he was dead. You know, so it was very coordinated. You know, like somebody steals the phone, mm-hmm. and then other people run behind, mm-hmm. like they're going to help. Oh, I know that. Yeah, yeah, as if you're all running after the yeah, perpetrator, and you know, yeah, you know. Um, so when I got there, um, I realized that he was stabbed. Try to call the ambulance. Try to call the police. Um, the Uber eventually arrived, yeah, and we're like, "Yo, this is what happened. The hospital is just here. Can mm-hmm. we just put him in?" and um, refused. Um, there are people who had cars there that we asked. They refused. Um, All the people serious. refused to help. People refused to help a bleeding person. No, like I mean, I don't know if if somebody's bleeding, you would want to help and put them in your car to the hospital. You know what I mean? Yeah, but yeah, I mean, just looking at like yeah, come on. You know, so yeah, we tried to save him. Um, yeah, and yeah, and that's when he passed. So there's a documentary um, about his passing. The documentary is called 57. I'm so sorry for your traumatic experience. Like, I'm I'm so hurt just hearing how you are narrating it. Yeah. I I hear pain in your voice. You know? Yeah. Um, So this documentary about his passing is called 57. And that, um, it premieres this Thursday? Yeah. Are you able to share a bit on that? Um, yeah, um, so what happened, um, is that, you know, there, we needed to do something, you know what I mean? Uh, because after Spoo's passing, I mean, the film was still on circuit, you know what I mean? So everybody was just sad, was just shattered, you know what I mean? So the creators of Madre Dwe, um, you know, from how they, t- they, they told me is that, like, we just felt like we need to do something to honor him and some form of closure or of understanding course. or you know what i mean so that's how the documentary um came about you yeah. know to honor his life and just in general um create a conversation on crime because it is such a bizarre like i'm literally i'm 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 hurt oh yeah man, it he hurts. could have been saved he could have been he saved. could have, he could have he been, could saved. been he saved he was yeah. literally mm-hmm. just mm-hmm. entering yeah. into the height of he was under the spotlight. Yeah. That Matoetwe film was about to do something magical for him. Yourselves yeah. included. Yeah, we were robbed of a great talent. Why is it called 57 and where can we catch it? Yeah. Um, apparently, like, there's... I don't know if it's still the same number that 57 people, like, are killed every day in South Africa. Oh, murder. Just murder stairs. Yeah, like every day, 57 people. So that's 57 funerals. That's 57 families. Every single day. Way more than 57 Way people more affected. Than that. The families, the kids, you parents. Know, the community. Community. Um, yeah. So um, there's going to be, there's going to be, like, a, a screening. Um, I just forgot, like, where... Yeah, 
but I think it's just like an intimate thing. Yeah. Yeah. But I think we'll it, it. it's we'll gonna it. it's gonna play. I think on one of the the channels. Yeah. Um, after some time. At yeah. some point. Yeah. yeah. Sure, yeah. you are a musician. Yes, sir. We'd like to take a sneak listen, just a quick one, to what your offerings are from a music perspective before we let you go. Everybody saying that we're done, yeah. Wake up in the morning just to grind, yeah. Timmy and the post, we at the top, yeah. Do it for the homies that are not, yeah. I know that my mama really proud, yeah. Now I'm just a slave to the money, yeah. But I'll never sell my soul for a check, yeah. Life I am a drop, I'm a little bit of a pill, I'm a little bit of a pill, I'm a yak. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, that breaks my heart. It does. Yeah, man. That really breaks my heart. Murima says, nah, it's cold, that song. Because, I mean, how much more pain can one take? I mean, you are uniquely black. You've been in pain since growing up. Yeah. You are, like, how much more? It's It breaks my heart. It really does. Yeah, no, and... Sorry about your loss. Yeah, I mean, going to therapy and, like also like making music like this is like one of the songs because the reason why i wrote it was like because i didn't understand i'm like god like i mean you love us we love you but like how, how does this how do you what make is this, this? You, you know what i mean yeah, but yeah, then I, you, you, I mean for some consolation you just say no you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. maybe he knows what he's doing it's we a grand don't plan. Know. It's, yeah yeah, yeah kind of yeah what's your rap name Prodigal Son. Prodigal, Prodigal Son. son. Yeah. Prodigal Son. Thank you very much for touching us this morning and starting your day on 959. So um, the film, uh, the documentary 57, a film about violence and hope. The documentary is inspired by the tragic murder of uh, the Matuetwe lead actress, Busisom Kwinana. It uh, screens on Thursday, September the 8th, right? 7 o'clock, well, 5 o'clock for 5.30. The venue is uh, Kilani Cine Centre. Cine Centre, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, Cine Centre. A lower level Kilani Malls, 60 Riveria Road in Kilani. Thank you very much for starting your day with us. Thank you very much. Thank you, much. Much. Thank you man. All love, all love. All love, yeah. Yeah, all the best with therapy. You're yeah. going to be okay. You are okay. We will be okay as a country. Absolutely, we will be. Yeah. Thank you.